Hello, hello, and welcome to my channel. I'm Gwendolyn Halle, a shrewd business woman. Today, I'm going to be talking to you about how to get an import license in Cameroon. But before I jump into that, if you're a returning subscriber, this is me saying thank you. I love you. Thank you. And if you just stumbled on this channel, don't forget to like, share, and comment. God bless you. Let's roll in. Welcome back. Like I said earlier, today we are going to be talking about how to apply for an importation license in Cameroon. Before I dive into our topic for today, I know what's on a lot of people's minds. So how will I know the information you're giving me is correct? Secondly, why will I believe you? You are not a lawyer, Gwen. Last time I checked, you were not a lawyer, Gwen. What makes you think that your information is valid? Well, true, I'm not a lawyer. But what I can say is I have a lot of information, valid, updated information on business law in Cameroon, the updated financial laws in Cameroon, you know, what OIP has put in for us as business owners in Cameroon, I run different chains of businesses. And also because I love to read, I love to be updated. I have a lot of partners. So I have to be updated with immigration laws. I have to be updated with finance laws because I pay my taxes. I have to be updated with a lot of things so that I am informed. Because first, it helps me and it has worked for me, then I can share it because the value I'm giving you is what you wouldn't see out there. Trust me, a lot of this information that I give on my channel, particularly about business, it's not really found in the government offices, like pasted or open in the offices where we create our businesses or where we register our businesses. Trust me. So when I'm giving you this information is that I've done a lot of research. I am in contact with business lawyers, immigration lawyers, and my information is legit. So come with me, guys. Come with me. So what is or what are the documentations that are needed? What are the documents that are needed to apply for an importation license? Number one. Attestation non redevance. Attestation non redevance is actually an attestation to show that you are not owing the Cameroon government. That means you are up to date with your taxes, you have declared. And I'll do another video on taxes, you know, how to calculate your tax to pay and to understand the tax system. The second document you will need to apply for. An importation license is the registration de commerce, the registration document of the, of the company. And this is gotten from the, the company on the office where you registered your business or your company. The third document you need is an application on the company letterhead. That means that you are going to write an application to the office that is going to issue you this importation license. And make sure it's on a company letterhead. You sign and you put your official stamp. The fourth point is the attestation of CMPS. CMPS in French, it's a, it's a French uh, uh, um, abbreviation, is Caisse Nationale de Prévoyance Sociale. In English, it means National Social Insurance Fund Attestation. This CMPS is for your workers. You can also include yourself in it. So, CMPS has its own procedures. Then, the fees. The fees to date is 90,000 francs CFA, BEAC. The fees you pay to apply for an importation license. Now, you also need physical stamps for all the documents. And 
the price for the physical stamps have increased. It's no longer 1,000 francs CFA, it's 1,500. And this is supposed to be the standard price in all governmental offices. And then you have your lawyer fee. Remember, your physical stamp is supposed to be included on all the documents. These documents. All. The photocopy of, of all these documents. And then your lawyer fee. The lawyer is going to determine his or her fee. And the reason why I'm advising you to get a lawyer is when individuals like business people like us go into government offices in Cameroon to obtain information, most times or sometimes the full information are not given you and you may be manipulated or exploited because you are ignorant of certain things and that's the truth the lawyer is going to know which office to drop this documentation in and will help you follow up this document till it's signed and you get your approval now about the time the processing time i have no idea about the processing time because this could vary from region to region or from city to city or office to office so i don't want to give a time frame and to some people it doesn't work but what i want to tell you is you need a lawyer you see sometimes we as individuals think that we could we could do some certain things by ourselves because it's easy like this stuff i could do it myself but you know I, I i had tried doing some certain documentations for myself and trust me it was so difficult it was so difficult and most of the people that work in the government offices really respect lawyers if a, if a lawyer says i'm going to pick up this document at 8 a.m that government officer or that government worker would make sure that document is available for that lawyer not that they wouldn't do the same for you but they wouldn't take you as serious as if it were a lawyer so that's why i'm going to advise you get a lawyer an affordable lawyer there are affordable lawyers that could help you so this is what i have for you for those who want to apply for an importation license and bear in mind in cameroon there are some people that have been given the autonomy to import certain things into Cameroon. So do think very well about what you want to import. If that import, importation, that item or those things you want to import or the service you want to import have been given to one or two people by the government to handle, um, your application is going to be declined because there are some people I'll take for example if the government has said okay um, I want these two companies to import us bottles of water they have given that license to those people to import now if you as an individual or a new company or an old company want to start going into importing water you know it may be it may be a serious issue maybe your application would not be granted maybe because trust me there are some things in cameroon you know like importation of certain things and exportation of certain things that have already been designated to particular people to do but that notwithstanding the Lord Jesus is on the throne and everything is possible with him. So, <laughs> thank you so much for joining me in today's class. I remain your seasoned and certified business <laughs> mogul, Gwendolyn Halle. Till next time, bye-bye.